What is good, you guys? In this video, I wanna show you how to use Use Selector and Use Dispatch instead of using Connect for your functional components. So I built this app a couple months ago. It's very similar to Momentum, which just shows the time, it shows your name, and then it shows like what's your main focus, um, and then it shows you a little quote. Mine's a little simpler, but I built it to just get a little more practice with Redux a couple months ago when I was trying to learn it. But we're not gonna be using Connect anymore, so let's just get rid of that, and we will get rid of all of this. So what Connect does, it injects save name, that action, which is function, in our name component as a prop. So we're not gonna be using it as a props anymore. Um, so. Really, I think that's the only place I'm using it, so I can even get rid of just props. So what I was doing before is saying props.save name, which is my action, and then I was just sending the name off to the local storage. Well, it's sent to Redux, and then Redux kind of handled it to set it in the local storage. So that if you set your name here, and then you close the tab and come back, that it's still there. You can pull it from the local storage. So what we're going to do is say const dispatch is equal to use dispatch. And we're going to import that from React Redux. So we'll say use dispatch. So now whatever we want dispatched, um, all we have to do is go dispatch and save name. So it'll call this action. So now we don't have to connect it to the component and then use it as props. We can just say dispatch the action. So let's just see it. So enter your name. Oh, well, that's an error on my part still. But as you can see, it still worked and it still set my name. So the next part is we'll go to the weather. Okay, so in this component, we have our action that's getting called here. And then we also have some state that's coming in through the Redux store with map state to props. Uh, so that's weather and loading. And the only places we're using that is right here and all these use it. So um, first, let's go ahead and put use selector in. And with use selector, you just declare that constant to whatever piece of state. So let's just go ahead and start coding and you'll see what I mean. So let's say loading is equal to use selector and then we'll say state and state and then let's just console.log this okay so here we have some errors but we also have our state so we have this item that's in my redux store and we want this loading state so instead of just state we'll go state dot item dot loading so now this is going to be the same as if we did it down here and just injected it as props into our weather component so now let's go ahead and do that with the weather too so we'll const weather is equal to use selector state we can also just go like this item item dot and we want the weather so we'll go weather okay so now everywhere that we're using that we'll just get rid of the props like a man D. And uh, we can get rid of it down here now. So let's get rid of that and we'll just go uh, null. So let's save that and there we go. We have the weather coming in, we have the degrees and the location all working like it was. So this is how you use use selector. It makes your functional components a lot cleaner. You don't have to be using this connect method. We didn't do it with the fetch weather uh, because we'd already done it in the name component, but you guys can also do that with uh, calling your actions. You can dispatch them just as easy. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I can.